Hi, I'm Tara from Beaver Expeditions. Antarctica and South Georgia are like my favourite places in the world to visit. Each year we're sending guests there and the number one question is what to pack. I've got my bag ready for my next Antarctica adventure, so let's take a look what's inside. First up, base layers. So merino wool is my favourite, but you can use any type of wool or other thermals. So nice long johns. I always take a couple pairs. And then your long sleeve tops. Also merino wool for this. Two usually does me. Next layer, remember layering is the most important. I would be wearing a t-shirt, something like this. A nice warm sweatshirt. This is also merino wool, but it could be just a woolen jumper, hoodie, whatever you feel comfortable in. On the bottom, if you've got ski pants, they would be really good to go over your thermals. I've got some really warm hiking pants that I wear. So basically, whatever you have around, that's going to keep you nice and warm. Then for your next layer, a down puffer jacket is really good. It warms you up really quickly and it's a really nice extra mid layer. Then on top of your hike pants, for your ski pants, the most important thing is waterproof pants. If you get splashed in the Zodiacs, they're going to keep you dry. So any kind of rain pants, fully waterproof hike pants. These are essential. Most vessels are going to provide you with a waterproof, windproof jacket, but do double check. So these will be given to you on board. So no need to pack that. For shore landings and the Zodiac cruises, you're going to be provided with rubber boots, nice long ones that usually come up to about your knee, so don't worry about that, they'll be given to you on board. You're going to want to keep your hands warm as well. I take a couple of sets of gloves, just to be sure if one gets wet one day, I've got dry ones for the next. Let's talk about socks. You've got to have warm feet. These are my favourite merino wool mountaineering socks. I just wear one pair of these. Some people like to layer a couple pairs. So you can never have too many socks. Merino or other wools are the best. For your neck, a scarf is a good idea. I personally like to use a buff. So I can put it around my neck, I can pull it up a little bit over my nose if it's getting a bit windy. Finally, on top, a beanie. Or I also take a second option, you know, for wearing out on deck. I have a nice wool hat as well. All right, so let's talk about what to wear around the ship. You know, you're going to be popping out on deck to look at whales, glaciers as you cruise past. So you're going to want to be warm and comfortable. Inside is heated but it's pretty cold as soon as you step outside. So I would be wearing some just warm pants, probably over my thermals, around deck, and just comfy woolen sweater or something like that. Then I can pop my jacket over the top and be warm out on deck, and also comfy. Footwear on deck is also really important. It can be a little slippery, I see at times. So wear some comfy shoes. I take my hiking shoes. It covers multiple purposes. I can do some hiking in Ushuaia before I go. So something like that, or just sneakers, whatever suits you. Going to lunch or dinner on board, I'd be just wearing something like this, casual, putting on a warm sweater over the top. Don't forget your swimsuit going to want to do the polar plunge, the most exciting part of my trip. And if that's not for you, well, there'll be a jacuzzi on board. Regular sunglasses will be fine, but if you do have any glacier goggles or mountaineering glasses, that are really good for the kayaking and things. The sun does get strong in Antarctica, so always remember your sunscreen and some lip balm with the sunscreen on as well. Essential. 
Going ashore, I just take my phone to do all my videos and photos. You're not going to want to lose that into the water. So waterproof case with a lanyard, keep it nice and secure, keep your photos safe. A few other tips to take along with your toiletries, sea sickness medication. Make sure you've got all your charges and you've checked you've got the adapters you need. Take a power bank and a portable hard drive. You're going to take lots of photos, so you don't want to be short. Always take a nice eye mask to sleep in. You know, middle of summer in Antarctica, the sun doesn't set, so it keeps it nice and dark. Another great item to take is a drink bottle, and I would also take some um, rehydration salts. Just in case you do get sick, it'll make you feel better. Lots of masks. Of course you're going to need a bag to put it all in. I like to take um, a rolling duffel style bag. I cannot find that most practical. Okay, so I think that's everything I would take to Antarctica. See you later.